Hi, greetings from Malaysia. So 2018 has been a year in which camera phone is getting cheaper and is getting better. So on the other side, camera manufacturers are making the camera more and more expensive. So for example, this the latest HX99 from Sony costs us around 2099 ringgit in Malaysia. So this is something of a very premium price in Malaysia. So for 2000 ringgit, is this camera any good? So let's find out. So let's unbox this 2000 ringgit camera and see what we have inside. Instruction manual in few languages. Camera itself. Power cable. USB adapter. USB cable. Strap. And the usual MPBX1 camera itself. So this is the HX99 from Sony. So I will list out the spec in this corner. So for the comparison, this is a normal compact camera size. And this is a A6000 mirrorless camera. So what do we have here? This is a zoom ring which programmable to use for various other options. So they have this flash in which it can't flip. Built in EVF. LCD in which is a touch screen and also it flips 180 for vlogger. So from the behind, we have this HDMI port. So this camera uses BX1 battery and also it uses micro SD card. All Sony compact cameras support micro USB charging. Okay, so how good the image quality from this video camera? So let's find out. So I have my stuff over there. Let's start with a normal shot. And then now we zoom in. So this is what a typical normal user will do. Okay. So now we try it without the flash. So let's review it on our PC to see how the result will be. So as you can see, uh, indoor light with flash are uh, a bit warm. So if you are using higher ISO at around 800, you can see that the color uh, begin to shift quite a lot. But overall, it's still acceptable at ISO 800. So if we bump it up to about ISO 3200, things start getting worse from this tiny little sensor. So the color shift a lot, it's blurry, it's not sharp enough. So the photo for daylight is very nice, color are vibrant, very accurate. And then if you're looking for problem like purple fridging, yes, this camera is controlled very well. This camera also have HDR plus mode and if you are looking into uh, macro photography yes this camera can produce very good macro and very good details and for selfie lovers there's also a beauty mode for your selfies photos
Okay, so now I'm testing this uh, Sony new camera with the uh, 4K continuous autofocus in normal auto mode. So <coughs> now it's in 100 megabit per second recording. So will this be uh, the ultimate tools for vlogger? This will be the backpack test. So this is the night mode for vlogging. So let's see if the uh, image quality is okay. So should you be getting this camera? So three reasons for it. So one is the ultimate zoom range 24 to 720. Second, if you must have 4K, this camera is for you. And then third reason is that this camera supports slow motion. So it can slow down four times the normal speed. And it's also very good for vlogger. So if you have been thinking, should I be getting this? So there's three other reasons that you shouldn't be getting this camera. First is the image quality. As you know, this is a very small sensor camera, so it does suffer a lot during night. Coupled with this very slow lens, 3.5 to 6.4, it does fare very bad in the low light. And then the third reason, which is a deal breaker for me myself, is that for 2099 ringgit you can have plenty of choices on the market so you can have for example this sony a6000 interchangeable lens system it costs the same price as this camera if you must have a compact camera then you should go for the sony rx100 mark 3 it does have a better sensor one inch it does have better aperture range 1.8 to 2.8 of course you lose out the 4k capability but for me personally i think image quality in low light is far more superior than this small sensor so let me know what do you think about this new hx99 at 2000 ringgit so is this a good buy for you let me know in the comment section below. So please remember to subscribe to my channel. Okay, your subscription means a lot to me. And I'll see you from here in the next video.